Hello guys and welcome to Free Words Two and welcome to seventy five day hard generative AI learning journey. This is day sixty eight and Meta just released this LLAMA three large language model, which is just an amazing large language model. It is trained on fifteen trillion tokens and fine tuned on ten million human Android samples as well. It has comes in two variants. The first is eight billion parameter large language model and second is called seventy billion parameter large language model. Okay, and NLMA seventy billion large language model is scored eighty plus in MMLU benchmark test as well. So in this video, I will tell you how you can fine tune that LLAMA large language model with the new fine tuning technique that is called ORPO. ORPO is kind of a new fine tuning technique that combines the traditional supervised fine tuning with preference alignment stages into a single process. So this reduces the computational resources and time required for training. So, moreover, the empirical results demonstrate that ORPO outperforms other alignment methods on various model sizes and benchmarks as well. So, let's get started, and I will tell you how you can fine tune this Meta LLAMA large language model with the help of ORPO fine tuning technique. Okay. So, if you see my this uh, Google Lab notebook here, you see. These are like new improvements that are done in the Meta large language model. Already told you that uh, they are like trained on 15 trillion tokens and uh, their vocabulary size is 128k. Okay, and it has a context window of 8000 plus as well. Okay, and it can be used for the alignment with the help of SFT, PPO, and DPO techniques as well. Okay, and it is also available on the Hugging Face library. You can see it is already there. Okay, so now, now I told you that we are using the ORPO fine tuning technique. So uh, in this technique, the instruction tuning and the preference alignment these are the two crucial steps of any large language model fine tuning. So in the step one, the supervised fine tuning on instructions to adapt the model to the target domain, and the step two is the preference alignment methods like reinforcement learning with human feedback. Or direct preference optimization, or like DPO, that is also a training method to increase the likelihood of generating preferred responses over the rejected one. Okay, while while SFT effectively adapts the model to the desired domain, it increases the probability of generating undesirable answers as well. Okay, so that's why the preference alignment technique is very necessary after the supervised fine tuning technique. Okay, so if you see this kind of a graph here. Our first uh, uh, thing is called we train our large language model that builds a base model. Then that base model is fine tuned by using the supervised fine tuning technique, and then it get a uh, preference aligned as well. But with the help of ORPO, these two steps are completely combined into the one step. Okay, so that's why we are using the ORPO technique. And now, how ORPO works? So ORPO modifies the standard language modeling objective, combining the negative log likelihood loss. With an odds ratio term, this odds ratio term loss weakly penalizes the rejected one, but highly rewarding the preferred ones. So it allows the model to simultaneously learn the target task and align with the human process as well. So this is the complete formula of the ORPO algorithm as well. Okay, now I already told you that Meta released two large language models. The first is eight uh, billion parameter, and second is seventy billion parameter as well. And if you are Using this ORPO technique, it requires a preference dataset, including a prompt. So this is a prompt length, and then you have a choose an answer and a rejected answer as well. So this kind of a dataset it needs: chosen, rejected, and prompt. So we use this kind of a dataset from the same Hugging Face library as well to try to find our large language model. So you need these kind of all libraries as well. I already explained these kind of. Libraries in my previous fine tuning videos. Okay, so we just import all the like necessary functions from these kind of libraries as well, and then load the LLAMA three billion uh, large language model in a four bit precision by using the bits to byte uh, technique. So I use the LoRa configurations by using the PEFT technique for the QLoRa, and then I am using the convenient setup chair format to modify my uh, data into the chat ML support type of Format as well. Okay, so first I install the Hugging Face library to get the access of this large language model because you need to get the access of this large language model as well. 
okay when i get the access i load this kind of lie language model with the help of uh, q lora configuration and here is my lora configuration as well in that same format and when i load it it loaded a uh, very very greatly as well okay so you see this i just put this kind of my bnb configuration that is q lora configuration into here as well okay so in that way this thing will completely works out okay so now now uh, i load my uh, melbourne data set as well and i uh, completely uh, clean it or like make it into the chat ml format as well by using uh, like a simple python techniques only okay so in in that we just like to uh, tokenize the chosen uh, column and the gated column as well and then map this function to your data set okay and then and then you need to uh, set up few parameters like a uh, learning rate uh, parameters as well beta max length max prompt length uh, or optimization evaluation steps all these kind of techniques you need to set for the orpo configuration because in the past videos we see that we are setting the training arguments there so in this video we are setting this orpo configuration here so when we set this orpo configuration we set up for our orpo trainer and with the help of that trainer it will train our large language model and also save it with the new name that we set above as well okay okay so now now when your model is completely trained so it takes around 3 4 hours to train on the t4 gpu on google collab for a thousand samples okay so you need a very large kind of machine to fine tune this large language model but after it got trained you completely save it into the hub and you can evaluate this large language model by using this auto eval uh, library and uh, i can also share the link of the notebook as well so this is how this complete notebook looks like you can enter your model id and the benchmark as well and it will run everything for you and give you the evaluation matrices as well okay so in that we can evaluate your this meta llma3 large language model after saving it into the hub as well oh guys so i hope you guys completely understand at how i fine tune this meta llam a large language model with the help of a new fine tuning technique okay so in our next video i will tell you how you can build a complete large language model evaluation framework with the basic steps as well so just be with it and if you want to know more about prompt engineering data science machine learning you can watch my videos on youtube and also read my blogs on medium we'll meet in our next video thank guys thank you so much